You are listening to Rochester Indie Media. I'm Ted Forsyth. In a second, you're going to hear Ricardo Adams' impressions and experiences from Ferguson, Missouri, where protests against police have been going on for nearly two weeks. Rochester Indie Media and members of the Flying Squirrel Community Space Collective that Adams is a part of talked to him from Ferguson on Monday night, August 25th. On August 9th, 2014, Michael Brown, an unarmed black 18-year-old, was murdered by Ferguson police officer Darren Wilson. Adams has much to say about how black youth are organizing in Ferguson, the amount and intensity of police activity in the area, and some of his personal experiences. Thanks for listening, and remember, don't hate the media, be the media. You are listening to Rochester Indie Media. For more information, check us out online at rochester.indymedia.org. That's rochester.indymedia.org. Uh, it, it's been a very interesting thing down here. Um, I've never seen um, a better public relation um, machine than I, what I've seen here. Um, it's all nonsense. Um, trying to pretend that everything is um, kumbaya, but nobody's going for it but the media. Um, nobody on the ground is buying into any of it. Um, out of a little respect, people are not um, um, marching the day just because um, Michael Brown's mother asked in his, her father, his father asked that of the people, um, and so many other people asked him of that. They're going along with that, but this is not the end. This is the beginning because the people are not, they're not buying into it. They want an arrest warrant, um, then they want a conviction, and then they want some, um, like, reparations, man, for um, what they call um, PTSD. Most because they feel uh, victimized. They sympathize with Michael Brown's family, but they said um, it's not what really created the situation this year. It's a, it, they say it's the response of the community here is what made this situation what it is. Um, and so there's a lot of other victims. They all feel like they're victims. Jesse Jackson today in the parade. The community members were on both sides of the car, yelling in, in there, calling them all kinds of unpleasant things. Um, he had to roll up the window. He put a guy out there to try to um, spin it. Nobody's going for that here. Nobody is buying that, but they're painting it like that. They left Michael Brown's body in the street for five hours before they took it they left it uncovered for about three and a half hours. Um, people feel um, that Michael Brown's uh, family has kind of been like, I don't know if it's bought out or scared to death, but they're not feeling this, um, no protesting. Um, it's because they want their voice be heard. You know, there's meetings going on. I'm at a meeting right now, at a forum right now. Um, they got the NAACP guy there who's really messing this forum up. They got Martin Luther King Jr.'s son there. He didn't do too bad, but he didn't really do that good either. They have uh, three or four other speakers that really brought it home. Um, call a spade a spade. Um, I personally um, been working with some young people here. Um, it's staying with, with some young people here and, and trying to get them working together. They're um, having a big meeting Wednesday together, these young people, and trying to develop some leadership. Um, none of them believe in the old time leadership, mm -hmm. the NAACP, and, and many other agencies. Um, they got a lot of um, groups coming down here trying to take the lead on everything, and community members recognize it. They're not accepting it. 
and I don't think there's a single com- community member here that is um, really more than one inch away from wanting to jump on the people, the, co- the revolutionary communist party <laughs> people and stuff. But they were, they've really gone over the edge here and stepped on everybody's toes. Um, what else? Uh, Ricardo, what was, what's what's the the militarized police situation like? When you drove into town, what did you see first? Um, those big. They don't say army, but that don't mean they're not military. They say police, <laughs> but they're, they're military vehicles, man. But they just say police. Yeah. It's police, armored vehicles. Um, police everywhere. I mean. An unbelievable amount of uh, police everywhere. Um, well, the they- day we came, they, I didn't actually see. They didn't gas up. I got here Saturday, and they haven't done any tear gas. And they arrested a couple people that Saturday night. Um, and I believe they were from that revolutionary... <laughs> I mean, it's a party thing. Um, they may have done good work elsewhere, but they have done nothing but create a problem here. They really have, you know. Uh, mm-hmm. As far as the community members here feel, all of the community members feel that. And uh, mm-hmm. I've been like, that's all I've been doing is going to meetings with these people, um, and they all feel like that. I've had to almost I, two fights. I had to break up. Guys getting ready to jump on them, man, because they're trying to create situations. Um, that the people felt was unsafe. They they got their kids out here. Mm-hmm. They don't want um, to be um, experiencing that chemical warfare that's been, that's been going on. They don't want to experience that again unnecessarily. Mm-hmm. And yet these guys are and see it appeared that that's what they wanted. So it, there's been a lot. Almost all the focus was on them uh, for like a day. Just on them guys. People forgot about everything. It was just focusing on them. They were even concerned about them at the funeral they did because they had they had got inside the church itself, and and people were really so they started to actually um, confront it um, on them and told them don't don't do what they plan to do. Um, and so it, I, I don't know. It, it, they did, it didn't go down, but people shouldn't have to been focusing on them. Mm-hmm. You know, uh, it's been like 90-something degrees every single day, and I'm talking about the high 90s. Mm-hmm. Um, I drink more water than I drank all year. <laughs> um, <laughs> trying to get through this. I wish I didn't have to um, pick up my daughters because I probably would stay here um, three or four more days. Uh, because the youth in the community are doing their own thing. They're having a big meeting tomorrow, another rally Wednesday. Um, they're going to be part of a press conference um, tomorrow at, I think, 1 o'clock. They're going to send a letter to Obama. You know, uh, I'm going to probably stay here for that before I leave. Mm-hmm. Um I don't know, it's, 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 it's a media circus here. I've never seen so many media uh, people here. Uh, I've been learning, I'm trying to learn from these people because they've done something that I've been trying to do for 10 years, um, ignite the people. And these people found a way, uh, this community found a way of doing it, man. Uh, this is history down here. And this is just the beginning. Nobody's uh, marching right now. They'll probably come back out a little bit tonight. But believe me, um, this is just the beginning. Question. Don't pay attention to the news with all that public relation nonsense. Every single business in this town has an I Love Ferguson sign. Every single business. And just about every single house has an I Love Ferguson um, sign on their lawn. Um, Obama didn't have, in his best days, didn't have that many signs up. These people are public relations wizards. I mean, but nobody is buying it. 
Uh, it's obviously, it's just like you're drinking sugar and people are trying to tell you it's soft. And, and I guess you just keep, you keep telling it to you, you're actually going to believe it. Even though your, your mouth is, your tooth is falling out from tasting so much sugar, you know? It's, uh, I really wish I could stay about three or four more days, man. Uh, I don't know. What else to tell you? Um, well, Ricardo, we're going to take a few questions, so uh, hang on a second, all right? Oh, what? Uh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll go. Do we'll, you want to go, yeah, Mary, Susan, Mary, yeah. Mary first? Ma what? Mary, go ahead. Okay. Yeah. Um, first of all, you can stay, and we'll talk about that later. Because um, Lynn, Lynn actually wanted to extend the girls to Saturday, so you can stay. Uh, but we'll talk about that later. Um, but you're my wife. <laughs> no, but I, but I do have a question. Do you feel yeah. like um, you said you've learned a lot? And my question is, do you feel like your, your skill set for working with young people has been expanded now? Like, are you interested in working with more like teenagers and young 20s um, young men now? Yes. I, I really, because um, I'm not working with any kids here. When I say young men, they're like 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. They're just a lot younger than me. And uh, if you keep it real with them, man, I'm talking about on every level. Um, man, they, they'll listen. And, and I guess for me, the reason they're listening because I'm doing more listening than they have to do. You know, I'm not pretending like I know it. And, and, and it's, it's been a building experience for me. It, I think it's really done me a lot. Because I've always pretended it was about the older teenagers. I thought that they were set in their ways. And they are. Don't let me, don't let me get that twisted. It's a lot of things that they ain't changing. Because they feel they don't need to change it. Um... It's a lot of leaders, older leaders. They no longer they have no respect for the NAACP, Jesse Jackson, um, uh, the other guy, Sharpton. None of them um, impresses them, man. None of them. And they really don't want to hear it from them, man. Uh, they feel like they're out of touch. Uh, they're doing what they need to do uh, to protect their community. Um, I have, yes, I'm definitely, definitely learning some stuff from them and just how to just communicate with them. That's the biggest thing for me. It was, it, it, I'm learning how to communicate with them. All right, we got and Susan next. Great. Oh, what did you say? Take a break? Oh, um, yeah, what um, have you found that the, the outside of Ferguson, like, other parts of St. Louis are also coming together in unity, or is it pretty much Ferguson and people that are really outside, outside? No, don't get me wrong. People um, from outside of the community, some of them are putting in some fabulous, fabulous work. I know these people from California that are putting in fabulous work. They got people from Florida. Um, Chicago, not all of them is putting in good work, because uh, some of them are, they have to follow an agenda that they're on and this, this type of stuff, but um, a lot of them, man, is, is I, I guess I was, their support. I guess I was asking is if St. Louis in general or, you know, the larger St. Louis has come together, or is it pretty it, much Ferguson? Um, no, no, I, 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 I would be, um, uh, not telling the truth if I tell you that the larger group is, there's a larger group coming together, but it's not the, who you think it is. There's influential people, uh, this guy, uh, David Banner, Reverend Rivers, um, uh, these are other, like maybe more of 
organized it. Um, uh, Rivers is actually a minister. Uh, they got some lawyers here that are really um, putting their money where their mouth is, trying to make these dudes um, come together mm -hmm. to take the lead because nobody, nobody knows. Everybody knows we can't endure staying down here. Uh, the people ain't gonna be marching out in the cold too much, and so they're trying to get them a space, a permanent space. We have a temporary space here at the church here where the forum is, because there's actually more than the church. They have a church, they have a big school in this building, a gym. It's like a complex. Uh, but they need their own space uh, to start organizing. And if some, one of the guys are, are actually, three of the guys are actually going to start working, hey, Friday, Friday, three guys are going to have an income. It's called okay. a stipend, but it's a start. It's not just the stipend they're going to get. They've, they've already given them some cameras. Um, one guy has gotten a laptop. Um, they're giving them tools to be effective. You know what I'm saying? Um, and that's what these kids respect. They don't really, um, they get it, and so they don't need a whole lot of um, rhetoric. They need to, they need to see some support. Mm -hmm. And some, some groups are doing just that. Um, I can't even think of um, the names of these groups because these are like, these are not the big name groups. This ain't like the um, SEIU, they're here, all those people are here, but it ain't their organizing that's being a, um, having the effect on these people here. It's these other groups that are on the down low, just really being supportive um, instead of like dictative or something. You know, that, that's my take on it. Yeah. You know, um, I, I probably got, I probably have, about 15 to 20 dudes in here that won't let me walk down the street without coming giving me some love. Young people from this community, man. Young people from about 15 to 20 of them. I was over there, I was over there with them instead of over with the cameras. You know, and I'm trying to take pictures of them instead of uh, the big shots, instead of Jesse Jackson and all that. And that's what they respect, man. That's yeah. what they respect. Um, in fact, the dude on MSNBC, uh, he ain't know I love him. They came over me, came over near me today. And I said, Crusades, I know your name. I said, but you don't know this guy's name. I told him who he needed to be talking to. And he didn't talk to that guy. Then he was talking to another guy, and I had one of the young brothers go over there and stand by him. I, I interrupted him. I said, this is who you need to be talking to. Um, and that, and that young boy has a lot of respect in this community, and that's probably why I, I got so many kids giving me some love. But he's giving me love. He's like a hustler in the community. I'm going to be honest with you. He said, but he got it. Before he stopped hustling, they got to show him. Um, that it's going to count for something. Mm -hmm. uh, it's, 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 there are organizations in here that are making a difference, but it ain't, them, it ain't the ones that you think it is. The mm -hmm. dude from Occupy the Hood fucking fabulous work. And he, he, there's not a t-shirt that says Occupy the Hood. There's not a pen that says Occupy the Hood. He should never... And I, I don't think nobody knows that he's the guy that pretty much um, started Occupy the Hood. He ain't here for his own agenda, man. And it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a nice group of people here for that, mm -hmm. doing that, man. And them is the ones that's making a difference. I'm long it now. I'm so hyped, I don't know what to do. I'm getting about three hours sleep, and it's enough. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm just feeling good. All right, Andy's up next. Yeah, hey, Ricardo. Um, let's see. I, I was wondering if there were pre-existing youth organizations that you think made a difference. Uh, and then the second question is, um, 
this group that is starting to be able to pay organizers, is that a new group and, and how would we support that? The, 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 the group that they're trying to, those organizers are trying to support is a new group. The, the people that are actually supporting them, um, they're not a new group. And I'll have that information um, later on because we have another meeting um, gathering. Can I chime um, in? With them tomorrow morning at 10. I believe it's tomorrow morning at 10. And I've actually been with these two ladies that are representing that group, and I just don't have their cards. But I, I, I need to collect that information just for documentation purposes. Hey, Ricardo, and, the Organization for Black Struggle raised like $30,000 to hire organizers online in a couple days. Does that ring yeah, a bell? That's OBS. Yeah. That's OBS. Okay. That, yeah, OBS is one of them. There's actually uh, there's four... So there's three organizations that are actually doing that. OBS is not just OBS. And those are the meetings that we're going to. Um, they had the fundraiser over at the um, Flush, this place called Flush last night. That's where we went to. Um, but there's three organizations. Um, it's not just OBS. But they may be the one recording, um, saying that they're doing the thing for the, um, the job hiring. Because the guy that w w I'm working with, the Chelsea, the one that I keep with me all the time, uh, the name is Jeff Hill, but he's taking on a new name, the, uh, the Roba. He's actually one of the people getting the job, getting the job, one of the jobs. So I do know definitely about that, but it's three organizations. Um, they're not big name organizations, like I said. That's why I don't know their name. What what can we what 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 can we do here, Ricardo? Uh, what what can we do in Rochester? What can the Flying Squirrel do? What do you see as a need, or what have you heard as a need? I uh, I'm gonna try to bring back. In my mind and everything, as much documentation as I can. And actually, Yusef uh, is going to um, get a go fund something for um, the boys, for, 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 for three guys, really. These same three guys, because the stipend is not going to, one of the guys is homeless. Um, he, he went. He's homeless and he ain't homeless. He's not sleeping outside. He's sleeping in a storefront with another guy and three pit bulls. You know, he owns those three pit bulls. He had him and the pit bulls both were homeless, so they're all sharing the store a storefront. Uh, which that's, that's homeless. That's homeless. You know, uh, a storefront is just a storefront, like a big box. And he's, he's not been that the last couple of days because he's been sleeping in a hotel where we sleeping at. And at some point um, within the next four or five days, Yusef will have something up. Yusef and, and Aziri, another guy from Detroit who does spoken word, um, and it's also affiliated with um, St. Louis. Been here quite a lot. In fact, there's a girl who lives here. Um, they're doing that part. A guy from... And so, the best I can tell you, in answer to your question, would be just wait a day, couple days, and there'll be um, a site up, um, and you can look at it and determine... Whether you want to donate a dollar, but that ain't what, that's all they're asking for. Maybe not trying to raise a whole lot of money. Their goal is to raise, um, you know, between one thousand and two thousand um, dollars. Try to get him out the storefront uh, because the OBS and all that they have a process they have to go through, and, it, and it, some things may go a little slower. We didn't really want to leave him out here. I'm discouraged or, 
you know, not in a better, more stable position. So the answer, once again, the answer is, in a couple of days, I'll have an answer. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thanks a lot, Ricardo. Anybody have any last questions? Yeah, I wanted, this is Susan. Um, I wanted to ask regarding, um, is there, are there attempts to try to break up the organizing going on? Um, by, uh, uh, see, uh, uh, in this forum just now, a, 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 a lady who, they had a video of people being given a lot um, cocktails, being actually, so there were actually really a um, whole lot of cocktails involved, but they followed, they filmed somebody giving these to passing them out, but they also followed them. They went back to the police, um, um, what headquarters or what, it wasn't the police station, they had a, a just a, area set up for what they all mean. I don't know what the right word is you call that. Um, it's, it's, it's the base. Like they have them all over Rochester. Um, they went back to that. So they automatically knew that they had these agitators in there. And then, from what I understand is, they're saying um, outside people were the agitators, but the people that they arrested, every single one of them had person um, address. <laughs> you know? And so, and then they, they had um, community members running up to people, um, asking them, where are you from? And then, instead of giving a response, they would run away. So, yes, there's definitely uh, all kind of infiltration. All kind of infiltration here. Uh, they raised this space that we use all the time where we have the OBS meetings there. Um, People realize now that they didn't really come in here to take out them. They didn't really care about taking out the main rocks. Guess they had to pretend that they came to take some. They everybody kind of figures that everything we say in there is, is monitored, mm -hmm. and I believe it. You know, uh, we be looked and we be in the meeting talking, and everybody be like this trying to find one. But you know, we know it's there. Your phone is. Um, Sometimes it works, sometimes they don't, depending on the website you're trying to go to, computers breaking down. They they work in the, they work in their technology. Um around here. And that is that is no lie. All right. Lucy, you had a question? Uh, Ricardo, is it any reaction in the community of the killing of last Tuesday of that young man that uh like Scott uh, picking up a couple of pops and not paying for it. The we one that was killed was last Tuesday in uh, St. Louis. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 The one that's supposed to have mental health issues? Yes. Yeah, um, people are just talking about it in the form of this, um, but just another killing um, that the police have done. Um, this is nothing new. Um, they talked about one that happened in 2012, um, where they had a video, something that happened right here in 2012, this lawyer that lives here, said they had a video of a guy that was beaten up, and the one guy, there's a recording of him saying, stop resisting, stop resisting, don't grab my gun. But so happened, somebody called for open file um, thing, and they got the recording off the, of another police car that was coming that way, and the guy was uh, wasn't even involved in the beating of the dude that got beat down really bad. He was just over there saying that into um, to the thing to set it up to justify the beating. They immediately had to they had to immediately throw that out. But so all of that type of stuff is it, it's what set this up for people to say enough is enough, man. <laughs> enough is enough. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. I, I can't stress that enough, man. Everywhere I go around here, um, not everywhere, because they got a group of pastors that are, <laughs> and that's most of the pastors that are local. 
most of the pastors in the local are going along with Jesse Jackson stuff. I'm, I'm just telling you. Um, there's about three. The one that runs this place we're at, and two others that are in here on this panel, and it's calling it like it is, man. Uh, I did, and they're out there every night. Even last night when you probably thought there was nothing going on, they had like about 20 kids, just young kids. Besides, they probably weren't going to school because some of them were definitely under 18. Marching and doing their own chant uh, in front of the police. But there was a lot of police still out, regardless. Uh, they got even people are now. You, are you away from the phone? It's getting harder to hear you. Oh, no. No, I probably put my hand over it because uh, I was walking over here close to the where the forum was, I just wanted to make, so I could see the God, uh, this one lady was so amazing in there, I need to tell her, uh, thank you, uh, for, for just telling her like it was, you know. Because she, she brought up the fact about when Rodney King got beat, there, there was three colleges that had students that told the mayor they wanted to do a rally, and so the mayor said, yeah, you can do the rally, and when they come up to the police station and get the permit, so they all marched to the police station and got there, and the mayor of Los Angeles was not there. And the lady told them, no, it takes, it's a three-day process. If you march anyway, you're going to be arrested, blah, blah, blah. They said, well, the mayor, she said, well, I'm just telling you the process. So they went back and tore up part of the campus, she said. They, they, they really tore it up. And it's a bit in the media did was that people who lived near the campus uh, and came in and tore off the place, even though it was the college students from these three major colleges over there. Um, and so she said all that to say, don't let the media spin this, um, spin this like this, you know? And, and they better tell them, don't tone it down. Yeah, don't tone it down. It, it's been really good over here. I am more hyped any, any, uh, than, I, oh. than I've been in a while. Any last thoughts you want to leave us with, Ricardo? Uh, I have a, a teacher for my wife, and I have a teacher for the squirrel. I'm going to start a new thing, hanging way up on the ceiling, a, a, a good T-shirt. So I got one for the squirrel, one for the, my wife. Um, I'm probably going to do an intense interview thing to put up on any media when I get back. Woo, 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 woo. Yeah, <laughs> and um, I've got a commitment to... Um, the Ruba, also known as Jeff Hill, that uh, when things get going, I'm going to bring them over here to my house to stay a week and let them come over there and just meet the people that um, have, have, have made a difference in my life, which is at the score bell. Uh, does he want to come over there? Uh, I mean, maybe I can hook him up and he can just do meet some young kids and make a difference. He want to do the right thing, man. That's yeah, awesome. so it ain't gonna cost us nothing. Absolutely, he <laughs> got listen, listen. Uh, <laughs> I've done some little things for him, he, and it, for him, it's like the world. It's like the world. Uh, I don't know. Uh, and it's keep keep me in your heart, cause like I said, this could change in the in. Tomorrow, this could all change. <laughs> In fact, tomorrow, I think it is going to change. I don't want it to get to the extreme, but it's definitely going to change. The tone over here is going to change again tomorrow. It's going to be back on. So. Yeah. Well, we love you, and be safe. Okay. Not as much and as I, I do. <laughs> <laughs> and, and in a different way, Ricardo. <laughs> <laughs> 
Good to hear your voice. Thank you so much. Play as much as Mary. <laughs> <laughs> Good night. Hey.